show you really quick these cute little okay I use my thread spools from the name I can't oh it doesn't even really show it on here oh oh there it is up at the top these guys you get them at Joann's in their thread section so I just use these guys and they're gonna be really cute when they're painted because they have this little scalloped edging on the bottom so those guys will be cute these are just two circles from the machine that you you do the middle circle in or <laughs> the little circle in the middle and the big circle on the outer and first you run your running stitches to kind of tack everything down and then you run your satin you cut everything out and then you run your satin and then you just twist them and well, you know, I'll probably secure it a lot better whenever I'm actually making ones for my dollhouse, but for the tutorial, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. They're so dark, even still. Let's see. Well, you can kind of see how blue it is. It's really disappointing. I'm having a really hard time with lighting over here. Okay, so I wanted to show you really quick how this works on the machine. And so we'll get these guys off of there. And we're going to go up here to the shapes. We're just going to choose the circle immediately. We're going to choose number 10, which is the running stitch. Choose adjust, layout, size. We're going to max it out completely. Okay. And with the ones that I did, I used this same kind of tearaway stabilizer like paper I use this but they seem a little flimsy to me still and not to mention there wasn't a lot for the stabilizer to grab a hold of in the back so I got a lot of this white showing through of the stabilizer so if you're using a wash away that'll be fine if you you know get it wet and wash it away but then I think you also will lose the stiffness so I've changed my plan of what I want to do next it'll still do I mean they're still super cute and it'll still do but I wanted to try using some vinyl that I picked up from our upholstery shop it's really pretty and it's got lots of different colors on it and stuff like that so the one I chose before kind of went with the pillows and um, yeah just the pillows that I've been making so all right so what we're gonna do first is we're going to run that circle stitch, put our presser foot down, okay, and then we're gonna, it says finish sewing, which is okay, but then we're gonna just make it as small as we can. Not changing anything, just fitting right in the center, okay, and then we're gonna Now if you're just going to glue stuff to the top and bottom like lace and beads and stuff like that, you don't really worry about your finished edge, you can finish it up pretty much in a couple seconds. But if you wanted to have the satin stitch edge, this edging right here, there we go. If you wanted to have the satin stitch, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to pop it out of there and then I'm going to cut out around the sides and also cut this little hole in the middle okay okay so you just have the disc and then you just kind of pop it in there but you don't want to poke all the way through just yet because we still need that stabilizer and if you poke all the way through don't worry just pull it back up and get cutting in the middle again okay so 
I'm not the best cutter, so this is probably going to stick out as well as all of this. <laughs> But, you know, if I'm going to be making a bunch of these, I can probably cut it out on my scan and cut. Alright, so if you are going to glue stuff around the edges of your, of your lampshade, right here, you could just pop it all out, cut it around of course, pop it out and then cut it right in half. And that gives you two lampshades, okay? But we are going to use the satin stitch and we're going to do the middle first and then the outer because as it does the outer it's going to kind of pop itself out of the um, of the, the tearaway stabilizer so um, we want to keep that middle done first and I hope that makes any sense alright so we're going to go up here we're going to get out of that stitch specifically and we're going to go forward. We're going to choose this number two, which is our satin stitch. Adjust, lay out. We're going to choose size. We're going to make it as small as possible. Okay. Now we're going to come down here. And we're going to press start. push the button and run that a little bit more over that first part. Do that. Okay, so that helped a little bit, but not the best. Just pop that off before it was ready. Okay. So you can see in the middle, it was really flimsy to begin with and then it got really strong. And see, you just got to cut a little closer, don't do what I do. Okay, and so now, with that part being done, and we know that we're kind of doubled up in the back there, oops, I don't want to can, I don't want to do it, I want to just lay out, oh it's not going to let me, okay. All right, so let's, we're still with the circle, see this? So let's choose our satin stitch again, adjust, layout, size, and let's max it out, okay? We're gonna put our presser foot down, and then press play. Hopefully it tacks down all that weird stuff. done. Very exciting time. Moment of truth. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And you could probably use this shape to make other things that I can't even think of right now. But you just pop off, pop it out of the hoop and then you peel off all of your tear away. You don't have to yank it away. Just gently pop it off. Okay, so there we go there's our shades. Okay, so now if you have a bigger base, you're working with a much bigger doll than I am, if that's the case, then you just want to cut this once and kind of figure out, like if you need it to be wider or thinner, just cut it once and then twist and then cut at the junction, sorry, cut at the junction right there on both sides and then tape them or glue them together. But with this specific design, it's kind of exciting because we can make, we make two different sizes. Let's do that. Okay. 
Oh, they're pretty much the same. I didn't really, I didn't want to mess up the design. But say you cut, let's cut this little piece off. Okay. So you would take it and you would tape it, but it would be more skinnier as opposed to this one where you take it and you would tape it and it's a lot fatter, it's wider. Okay, so you can just chop it down a little bit to make a different style of uh, lampshade that you'd like. Okay, so just to kind of temporary see how it looks, just take your tape and if you have double-sided sticky tape you can do this too and that's probably will help it a little bit more but you probably want to use some permanent glue at some point okay and then you just sorry I keep doing that then you just wrap it there and press them together okay then you find your little lampshade mine in this case is a little thread spool and there we go how cute is that guy and it's pretty you can use you know any kind of fabric to make it I do like using this um, the vinyl from the upholstery store because this as well as adding I think that extra layer of stabilizer in the back has really made them a lot less flimsy more realistic So here we go <laughs> alrighty I hope it was fun for you guys talk to you later bye bye